This cycle had so many ups and downs. Keep watching to find out if I'm pregnant. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My husband and I are trying to conceive our second child and we are currently on cycle 13. Uh, I took the last two months just kind of off in some sense of filming and updating you guys because I had some medical issues and I just didn't need that extra stress, but I figured I would give you guys a little update and let me just show you how this went. So I am 10 days past ovulation, 10 DPO. I just started my little test here. Sorry for the bad lighting. I wanted to get away from Juan and Aubrey. They're upstairs and I don't know what to expect. I mean, we've been over a year of getting negatives, so that's what I'm anticipating. But if it is positive, I'll be excited, but I'm not going to be jumping for joy because I, I want to figure out like a cute way to break it to Juan that I'm pregnant. But I don't know. My, my hopes for that are kind of low right now, and I still got two more minutes to wait. I also know it's like a little early. Some people get positives now, but it is possible to get a negative and then a positive later on. So... I couldn't really wait. I was gonna wait like another like three or four days. And if this one comes out negative, I'll definitely wait like a good five days so that I feel confident in the final result. But I don't know. I only have one more test after this, then I have to go to the store and buy some more, which I'm hoping I don't have to go. I really don't wanna have to go to the store. But now I'm rambling, so I'll just check back in before I look at this test. Okay, here we go. I see nothing. Not even like a faint line. But Aubrey's been, I guess, complaining of a tummy ache upstairs and Juan wants me to go check her temperature. So I guess I'll come back in a couple of days and update you guys on how cycle 13 is going to turn out after all. Hey guys, so today's a crucial day. <laughs> it is the 25th and I believe that I ovulated on the 12th. And so looking back at like my history, if you guys remember from like previous videos, um, we practice NFP and when I was trying to avoid pregnancy in particular, I like before Juan deployed, I would take my temperature every morning and I noticed that from the day I ovulated to when I got my period, it was like 12 days. Now that was based on a temperature peak and I really haven't been doing my temperature peak um, since I just used the ovulation tests and stuff like that. So I don't really know exactly when it would, if it peaks the day you ovulate or the day after, if it is the day you ovulate, then I think I might be pregnant. And if it is the day after you ovulate, then today is the crucial day. Because if I don't get my period today, then it's past that 12 day period, like where I should have started my period. And that has been pretty consistent, like my entire life now that I've been doing NFP. So if I don't get my period today, there's a really strong chance that I could actually be pregnant and not have a negative pregnancy test the next time I take it. So I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. Uh, I'm not obviously going to take a test today because I could very well get my period and then I just wasted a test and I only have like one of each ovulation and pregnancy left. So I don't want to waste it, but tomorrow will be the real telling day uh, test wise, at least if I don't get my period today. So just giving you a quick update and I will check back in soon. Good morning guys. Uh, so nothing happened yesterday, so I'm going to take a test, but I'm going to change it up. I'm going to include Juan and I'm going to let him be the one to tell me what the test says <laughs> because we haven't seen much of 
his, I guess, disappointment during this time. So we're either going to see excitement or you're going to see, you know, how he feels every time that I get a negative test. So let me go get that ready and let's do this. Do you know how to do this? No. <laughs> Open this up. So this is the test mm -hmm. and we're going to do three drops in here. Here, I'll let you do the honors. <laughs> You're part of the reason I'm doing this anyways. Just three drops. Okay, I'm just put that over there. Okay, so we're gonna wait three minutes. So why don't you tell our viewers what you've been feeling the last year and a month? <laughs> well, kind of been disappointed that Aubrey doesn't have a, a little sister or little brother to, you know, play around and show her things and grow up with, you know, a friend. So. Okay, so you grab that test. We still have a minute and a half, but mm -hmm. so there will, there will be one solid dark line for sure, unless it's like a flawed test, which I've never gotten one, but it's possible. There should be one solid dark line. And then if you see another line next to it, that means I'm pregnant. And how fast does it usually show or how fast well, does Well, we it... have a minute now until like we can technically read the test. Mm -hmm. You can look at it though. You can tell me what you see if you want. You can try to make it exciting or soften the blow. All I see is one line. Okay, well we got 30 more seconds. Maybe you have to put more in there. No. <laughs> So you don't see any bit of like a faint line? No. Just one line. Let's put more, I think. No. Let's see. Are you serious? I really thought I was pregnant. I guess I'll be bleeding soon. Sorry. It's okay. Well, we'll check in next month, I guess, or if some weird thing happens and I don't start my period in the next like two or three days. But like I said in earlier in the video, like based on my history of like ovulation to period, like I should have started yesterday or the day before. So I was pretty convinced there would be some faint line of showing I was pregnant, but I don't know, I guess maybe I'll start my period today or I don't know, something's wrong with me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess I'll check in soon. Well guys, it's later in the day and I just started my period. I guess maybe I read the ovulation test wrong, even though it looked like it was ovulating that day. Maybe it was like the next day really or whatever. So, I mean, the 12 day count is still, you know, unique and true to my body. So I must have just miscalculated the test that I that I took two weeks ago but I will check in this cycle had a lot of ups and downs I really really thought I was pregnant and I guess I'll just have to try next month do it all over again and I'll keep you guys updated thank you for supporting my channel please give this video a thumbs up <laughs> let there be something positive that comes from this uh, subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love to have you stick around and check out all of my content and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome. We are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.